Hi, this is Sarah Klopaki Cords here with Casino Enterprise Management. Right now we're at Casino Fest 8 and we're on the Expo Hall floor. We're looking at all the exhibits and right now we're going to talk with Grant Stauslin, President and CEO of Gaming Informatics, as you can see. Um, Grant, wondering for the people who maybe they don't know yet, mm -hmm. want to explain what you do, what you guys are all about? Sure. Gaming Informatics is a software for the highly regulated industry of, of gaming. We make uh, gaming that helps manage your slot floor. Um, it helps build compliance into what slot operators do every day in, in managing their slot floor. Uh, and it's also uh, software that uh, is relevant to both the regulators as well as the operations. Okay. And now there's a lot of different things that you do, but you're going to demo something sure. for us to give us yeah. a more specific look. Yeah, yep, sure. Uh, we're, and, and we're excited. In, in June, we had a soft opening of a new product called Iris Component Tracker. So what we've done is we've taken this large enterprise resource planning system that we've developed over the last six years, and we've broke it up into sections, kind of Lego pieces, if, if you will, um, to allow... Uh, you know, users, uh, you know, lots of different entry points, you know, both financially and, and in terms of commitment to their operation. So what we have here is, is Irish Component Tracker. Um, and you'll see here when you log in in the morning, you'll see a calendar. And you, we can see here a couple things have happened. Uh, one thing we see is that there are two components that have been revoked. And Irish knows about this because we're synced with the independent testing labs, whether it be GLI or BMM or Eclipse. So we can get that data you know, automatically every night at, say, 2 in the morning so that users know very much real time or almost real time um, if co any component on their floor is revoked. And we can see a couple other things here on the screen. We can see that there are five conversions and there are two purchases. And Iris knows about this because Iris also takes a feed from the slot accounting system. In, in no way is Iris connected to the slot accounting system. We don't feed information up into or affect gameplay in any way. But we do take flat files from the online system, bring them up into Iris, and Iris keeps track of what has happened from one day to the next. So if a game has been moved or if there's been a game change uh, or if new machines have been added, Iris keeps track of all that. So for example, over here we can see additionally uh, in more detail that same information that's on the calendar and we see down here for example that there are some uh, we have two revoke components that are currently installed in our machines and we can simply click here and we can go to that component. So now we see all of this component information which is coming directly from the independent testing lab so there's no data entry there's no transposition of numbers or or any kind of errors involved it comes over clean and you can see here that this revoke component is installed on this particular machine so we can now open up this machine and let's get rid of this revoke component and iris allows you to do that very easily you simply can go to update components and here in red we see the yellow is obsolete components in red. Here's a revoke component. So we're simply going to double click to remove that revoke component. And then we're going to go down here to our, our chooser and we're going to re put the replacement component in simply by double clicking. We are going to hit finish. And now we no longer have any revoke components installed in that machine. So one thing that Iris does is, is that it allows you to manage and maintain your components and you can click down here and you can, now, and you can also see a history of what used to be on this machine. Mm -hmm. So for example, here's that revoke component that we just removed and if I, if I scroll over, it's, we're going to be able to see that that component was removed on 8.30 by myself at this particular time. Mm -hmm. So it keeps a nice history audit trail of who did what to what and when. I think it's a, really looks like a really user friendly system. I mm -hmm. mean, it looks you know like the calendar. I mean, just kind of familiar things that wouldn't be too intimidating to learn. Well, good. I'm glad you got that from it because that's what we're trying for here. We're 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 good. Well, thank you. We're trying to make it easy. Yep, yep. And 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 you can see here also that uh, game attachments. Um, you know, an opportunity to go paperless. Take those paper par sheets and attach those uh, par sheet PDFs, for example, to the game attachments. So any machine that that game is installed in those par sheets can now follow. And it's the same with, with cabinet attachments. Um, there's nothing attached currently, but you could attach your UL certifications or uh, you know, user, user manuals or operator's manuals. Um, again, you could attach uh, approval letters, um, meal books, 
photographs of uh, you know Logic Cage or something. So it's an opportunity. You know, it is a data ma a, a document management system. Yeah. So the idea here is to allow you know slot floors and regulators to take all this fragmented information and get it in one system, mm -hmm. in one screen. What else does it take you know, to use this? You know, do you have to invest in other things at your operation to make this <clears throat> usable? Nope, it's uh, it's it's pretty straightforward. You know, you can you can put it on an existing server, um, or you can have a, a standalone dedicated server for it. Um, it has very robust user and security roles as well. So you can have you know we have as many as 80 people in one operation that are using it at any given time. So you can you can choose who can see what and who can do what. Okay. So it's got a nice, robust user and security role feature to it. Well, thank you. I think that I could Good. keep asking questions, but we better make the video okay. wrap it up. So well, we you. need to go fight about, you know, the Packers versus the Vikings because we've got a <laughs> Minnesota, Wisconsin thing happening here. So, well, it was really nice. Really thank you for yeah, thank you giving much. us a little preview. And remember, sure. you can find more videos from here at Casino Fest at CasinoEnterpriseManagement.com. Thanks for watching.